Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Poston Code Cipher. Back again with a simple tutorial on Bootstrap. So we are going to be designing a simple registration form using this Bootstrap library. And as you can see, we are having field for first name, last name, email, password, retype password, select gender, and the submit button. So, and you see inside some parent container here. I'm going to be showing you how we are also going to be designing that and yeah it's going to be very simple but make sure i have some basic knowledge on bootstrap because mainly we are going to be using the bootstrap grid system to lay out how you are seeing things here so guys stick around if you're into this kind of tutorial and let me show you the finished product so that guys know what you're going to be achieving this is the form as you can see it here registration form first form first name last name email password retype password and select gender and the submit button also so guys stick around if you want to see how this is done as you can see it's also transparent you can see something which is behind i'm also going to be showing you that and if you are to notice these two fields are not on the same line I'm going to be showing you how you can design. So this is just a design. You can achieve anything you want. Even if you want them in the same line, they can be on the same line. But this is just a design. You can go on and play around with it. Let's start coding. So I'll refresh this page. Go to the text editor. This is the text editor. So I already saved the form. This field here. It's called the reg form. It's here on the desktop. So I'm going to go to the text stage and type HTML and I'm going to put in the registration form and if you are to save this, this is what you're going to be seeing. So let us carry the bootstrap CDNs from W3 schools. So this is W3 schools. We are going to carry these CDNs in our project. So go to w3schools.com forward slash bootstrap forward slash bootstrap get started dot sub. So active server page. So make sure you copy these. I'm going to be working online. So paste them in your head section. You can get rid of these comments. So get rid of this. So these are the only links we need for our bootstrap to work. So I'm going to create a container here, div, with a class of container. Class of container. and yeah we are going to start now designing our page let's create a three column website so we are going to call this one a row so we want those columns as you saw our registration form was in the middle of the page it was somewhere here and it had left some space this side some space this side and if you are developing like a website you can leave this side for ads both sides and the form be in the middle in case you are into handing a lot of money now let's create another div we're going to give it a class of call dash l large stands for large and say so want it to cover three let me not waste a lot of space because these ones are just going to be invisible i'm going to copy this Remember, we are doing this, but still inside this parent div with a class of row. So these uh, these ones are going to be columns, and uh, in the middle, that's where we add our form. So it's going to be six. So if you add this one three plus three, that's six plus this six to a row. So we are completing the bootstrap grid system. 
so these ones are invisible as i said let us just leave them there and this is where our form is going to be so i'm going to create a div i'm going to give it an id of ui so user interface that's what i need now i'm going to create also another div let's create a form sorry i'm going to create the form tag and i'm going to give this one a class of let me slide up i'm going to give this one a class of form group and yeah now let's start on the grid system as you saw first name and last name these are four different columns this one is the first column this one is the second column so we are going to create also another grid system inside this form so i'm going to start by creating a div with the class of row and i'm going to add now the label the div of the column sorry not the label and i'm going to say class I'm going to say dash L. I'm going to say six LG. So this is the first column. I'm, I'm going to make this a label. And I say first name. And I'm going to come here. Down and write the input field. It's going to be text. So you can put this one like username in case you are going to add bootstrap my php sorry php some server scripting languages we can put here form dash control and this is our form how our form is going to be looking so this is the first field name and put there the text and let's create another column as you can see we made this so I'm just going to copy this same text. I'm going to copy this. I want to make this one last name. Let's call this one F name and this one L name. Save and this one is going to be this side. So as you can see now we have achieved our first layout which is here first name last name so you can go on and put even place orders so these ones act as indicators for as indicators for the user to know what's going to be put inside that field and you say enter this one enter your first name first name and for this one the place order will be enter your last name so refresh and you see we are having the press orders inside there so now let's create this one so as you can see for the email is stretching out the whole column so for it we just go after this so after this parent div with a class of row just go below and put label and say email and you put the input field of email so you can give the name email so you're going to, you target this using any server scripting languages class we set form dash control refresh as you can see it's also stretching but we are also going to be centering them as you're seeing here let's continue we also give it some placeholder of 
your email and it's also going to be there so enter your email now let's go to the field of password as you can see password is still the same grid system with the first one so save time just go back copy this div you created of row with all the stuff copy it come below this email and paste it there so we are going to change this one first name to password and this one is going to be retype password retype password and make sure you change the type to password also because it is not supposed to be in text form so refresh and still now you get these asterisk symbols let's also change the placeholders this one is going to be retype again here we say retype type password enter password enter new password so this is how it's going to be looking you see how it's very very simple to lay out this system or registration form now you saw we also had the select gender field so you also go below it and you say option select you use the select tag and here we are going to put options first one will be choose gender and the next one will be will be male another option will be female and another one will be others so make sure your form is gender balanced and this is how it's going to be looking so we also have to design it we just had a class of form control and this is how it's going to be looking it's going to stretch out so this is the same layout you're seeing here so now let's create the submit button you go right after it and you set input and you say submit the name will also be submit in case you're going to be using those server scripting languages and the value will also be submit so submit is something that will be visible to the user and the button so let's put a class on it btn dash sorry btn btn dash primary are you seeing how it is now let's make it straight or block you say btn dash block block and it's going to stretch out also we make it large btn dash lg large and this is it now we are going to start designing the ui so it is inside this parent div of ui that's what we are going to be editing this one